<clears throat> Hello, my name is Dave Siegel. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 7 Bankruptcy and Getting Out of Debt. I'm joined by my co-host, Jesse Barrientes. Jesse, welcome. Ah, thanks, Dave. How are, how are things? Hey, everything is great. We've got a nice fire here for our show, and That's we're ready right. to go. Well, Chapter 7 is the topic. Let's dive right in. Uh, what do you want to know about Chapter 7 in a nutshell? Well, uh, well first, uh, do I need a Chapter 7? Because you know what? I, I see some of these uh, commercials and some of these advertisements that tell me that I can do uh, debt consolidation, and I, I can just... Uh, pay them a certain amount of money and they're going to take off the interest and they're going to negotiate and stand up for me and and um, and you know it's going to save my credit it's better than a chapter 7 well chapter 7 is a great way to get out of debt if you have a ton of unsecured debt and you don't have significant assets a lot of the places that you're mentioning are people who are trying to hone in on people who have debt but not necessarily get them out of debt but to extract a little bit of money out of them as they're going down uh, most people are not successful in a debt reorganization plan that you see that does not involve bankruptcy because it just doesn't have any strength to it. It's like a voluntary payment plan that the creditors can either accept or not. Um, some can accept it while others are actually suing the person and garnishing wages. So it really, it, it doesn't have a lot of strength where so, bankruptcy does. So even if I pay my money to this place and, uh, you know, I mean, I, I assume that they're working with the... Uh with the, the, creditors? the creditors? Well, they're trying to. And they probably have some, of, some creditors in their back pocket that are willing to work with them. But they're never going to get all of them to work with them. And that's the problem. Another problem is a lot of these debt collection um, reorganization firms collect all of the funds up front before they turn it over to the creditor. So the creditor is basically waiting for a big lump sum payment of a percentage of the debt. And they're not getting dribs and drabs and steady payments each month. So at some point, they lose the incentive to work out this deal, and they want to pursue with collection efforts. Okay. So uh, you said Chapter 7 is for someone with not a whole lot of assets, right? right. Chapter 7 is basically a fresh start. Okay. So if someone has significant assets, they're not going to be able to avail themselves of the Chapter 7 bankruptcy laws and eliminate a lot of their miscellaneous debt, because the theory is, if you have assets, you could liquidate your assets and pay off your creditors and, and, and not file bankruptcy. So bankruptcy is really, Chapter 7 is for someone who does not have significant assets and really needs that fresh start. They've hit rock bottom, they don't have a house that, with any equity, they don't have a vehicle with equity, and they're just strapped with unsecured debt, which is credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, utility bills, things like that. 